allow me to introduce myself. My name is Joe Wos. That's me. I am an internationally syndicated cartoonist. I have a feature called Maze Tunes that appears in books and newspapers worldwide. I'm also the visiting resident cartoonist of the Charles M. Schultz Museum, and I have been a cartooning instructor for over 30 years. Most importantly, more than anything else, I love to draw. And that's why I created this YouTube channel. It's called How to Tune. And it features easy to follow step by step instructions. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to my evening quick draw sessions. Uh, this is where I just sort of draw for fun. You can shout out suggestions uh, just uh, in the comments. If you have any suggestions for something you'd like to see me draw, please uh, just let me know. If you're interested, drawings can be purchased for $15. Message me with your info and which one you want. Payment via PayPal, Zelle, Venmo, and Cash App. Or you can just sort of join in uh, to the show. I welcome uh, donations, but you certainly don't have to. Um, it is all, keep in mind, it is all ages. I do have kids tuning in too. I have adults tuning in. Um, so, um, you know, watch the language and everything else, okay? All right. And if anybody has any questions, uh, PayPal and Cash App. Or, again, just join in on the fun. Okay, I am going to switch over to... There we go. I'm going to switch over to the uh, paper there. Um, give me a shout out. Let me know you're watching. Uh, otherwise, it's just me drawing for the heck of it, which I don't mind particularly. I'm happy to, but um, would love to know that someone's out there watching me there in cartoon land. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything. What do we got? Uh, can you draw a Bigfoot driving a snowmobile? Sure. Bigfoot driving a snowmobile is the first request of the evening. So that's what we're going to draw. And then uh, I've got uh, a poodle next. Wonderful. Glad to have you all tuned in. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you took the uh, the classes. The classes have been so much fun. I really enjoyed doing the classes a lot. I really have enjoyed the classes. Hey, Lindsay, how are you? Good to see you. I worry that we may not see each other for quite some time. Um, one of my convention buddies, so yeah, I hope uh, I hope it won't be too long before I see you. I'm worried it may be a long time before I see anybody, <laughs> but hopefully that's not true. Hopefully, uh, okay. There is our first request. A little bit of snow there. Our first request is Bigfoot driving a snowmobile. Again, if anyone is interested in purchasing any of these drawings, Draws you purchase for $15. That includes shipping. I just shipped out a big batch today. I have another batch going out tomorrow, uh, and then more Monday. And there's my information. Okay, next I have a poodle. Uh, I have a poodle, and then I have an elephant, and then uh, a request for a cat doing its hair. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, poodle. Yeah, I, Lindsay is saying, I hope uh, things settle down by June. Um, I really hope things settle down by June because otherwise I ain't going to make no money. Um, and if I don't make no money, uh, that's going to be bad. Um, so I'm, I'm just uh, I'm very, very hopeful uh, 
the things will get going by June, but I have to be honest, I, I hope, but I don't expect. I think um, the convention industry is going to take a heavy hit. Okay. Oh, uh, Mahendra, fellow, uh, talent, very talented artist, uh, tuning in, asked uh, the question that I get a lot from artists. Um, which pens are you using? Aha! So, I am so getting this question so often that I did this. I use the Zebra PM701. <laughs> That's the pen I use, the P Zebra PM701. What's nice about these is you leave the lid off, it's not going to dry out because it's actually a liquid cartridge as opposed to foam. The foam is what's in Sharpies. That's what makes them dry out. And you can buy um, just replacement cartridges too, which is great. Um, and it's a nice, heavy stainless steel base. And they're only about five bucks a piece. Um, I highly recommend them. Okay. That was a commercial for Zebra. Um, they deserve it. They actually donate. They actually are one of my sponsors. They give me all these markers for free. I have a drawer filled with about 200 markers. Um, but I've been burning through them. So uh, there is a poodle. Okay. Uh, next, a cat uh, doing its hair. Hmm. Cat doing its hair. Let's see what I end up with. Oh, your <laughs> Julie's son knew the, the exact brand of marker that I use. Um, yes, because I mentioned him in class because I get asked uh, so often. You know what's funny is I think Zebra uh, is going to do some big business from all these kids um, who are, have been tuning into my classes uh, buying these markers. Uh, Casey would like a horse. Howdy to the very talented Rob Smith. Oh my goodness, he is so talented that I, I want to stop drawing right now because um, his stuff is so good. I, I love his style. Um, he reminds me very much of, and this is a high compliment, um, just the work of Walt Kelly, who um, I was a big fan of, but his his just style is sort of reminiscent of that just sort of charming swamp critters and so forth. Okay, a cat doing its hair. Okay. All right. Uh, Casey, the coloring book is done. It is posted on my website. Uh, dun, da, 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 Mazetunes.com. You can download it for free. It is absolutely free. I took all these free, not all of them, I took about 50 of the free drawings I've been doing and created a free coloring book. Um, so yeah, absolutely check that out. That is on my uh, page, yeah. So that's coming along really well. I've got a bunch of mazes up there too. All right, a horse. And again, if anybody does wanna purchase any of these, just let me know. Just send me a message um, with the information on which one you would like. Um, I'm also doing grab bags of these where you get three random drawings of my choice. And those are only, that's only $10. But if you have a special request one that you would like to buy, that is uh, 15. And I mail them out. I just mailed out a big batch today. And I'm going to mail out a whole bunch more tomorrow. And they went all over the world. I had people requesting from all over the world, which is wonderful. Uh, a horse. Okay. Um, what kind of paper are you drawing on? Um, and should I use uh, zebra markers to color the pieces I purchased, or is it multimedia friendly? 
I use regular copy paper. I don't use anything fancy. I use regular copy paper. Um, and the reason I do is to encourage kids is to draw and draw and draw. Uh, I don't like to use fancy paper because it's too expensive. And then kids go, oh, I can only put my best work on there. And, and they don't draw as much. If you tell them that copy paper is cheap, they can draw as much as they want. They'll do 500 drawings just like that. So just regular copy paper. So it's, it's pretty friendly to just about most kinds of markers. Um, some oil-based markers will tend to bleed if you have a slower hand um, and, and tend to you know, let the, the ink pull. Um, but otherwise, I think anything's fine. Any kind of uh, media works. Zebra does make some great um, markers. They also make really great retractable colored pencils that, that are just fantastic. I don't color, so I don't use them, but my kids use them. Uh, and they gave me to test them out when they first came out, and I like them. All right, um, I don't have any requests in right now. So that means it's an up to Joe drawing. That means I get to pick whatever I want, unless someone shouts something out. Okay, let's see. Um, what haven't I done yet today? I've done so many of these. Um, well, when all else fails, I draw a monster. monsters because they look different every time. I never quite know how they're going to turn out or what they're going to be like. Uh, Zach wants a Yeti. I've got a I just drew a Yeti actually. So I'll do another one. Um, all right, finish this monster. There, I've got some requests coming in. I've got Yeti, Turtle, and Chihuahua. So that's our order. Yeti, Turtle, and Chihuahua. Okay. Uh, let's see. First up, and I see Hippo in there too. Okay, first up, Yeti. more friendly Yeti than my other ones I've drawn. Okay, there is a Yeti, uh, a panda playing, that's um, sure. All right, so there's my Yeti. Again, if anybody is interested in drawing, drawings to be purchased for $15, just message me. There we go. Okay, I can get rid of that. <laughs> okay, Yeti. Um, what else I got here? Uh, there was another one. Uh, turtle, Chihuahua, uh, Octopus playing banjo, Monkey blowing gum. Oh, wow. A lot of suggestions tonight. This is great. Okay. So what was I doing next was, uh, turtle. I could draw turtles pretty quick because I, I draw a lot of turtles because I have a story to tell called How Turtle Flew South. And I tell that story a lot. So I've gotten... Quite adept at turtles. They already draw pretty fast, so some characters I can draw faster than others. Turtle happens to be one of the ones I can draw really quickly. Ironically, because it's a turtle. All right. 
Selena asked, am I live every night? Um, so far, I'm still alive. Uh, and still live. <laughs> so yeah, I hope to stay live for a while. Um, Chihuahua. Chihuahua, there we go. Bunny in a pool. I think bunny in a poop is funnier, just because poop is funny. But uh, but yeah, bunny in a pool would be more better to draw. <laughs> All right. Um, was a hippo. Uh, Octopus playing banjo, of course, from Rob wants to put me to the test here, really. Okay, but let me do, um, let's see, hippo next. So this is Hippo next. Uh, a unicorn, yeah, always popular unicorn. We drew unicorns in my class uh, yesterday, my online class at howtotune.com. And wow, we have a, a lot of kids interested in that one. Today was by request and we had, and by we I mean me, uh, thousands, thousands of kids tuning in live. It was just amazing. Um, these online classes and live draws have been so much fun and have, honest to goodness, been keeping me, um, <laughs> keeping me well fed because otherwise I'm going to starve because all my work has just vanished overnight. Um, I've had over 20 cancelizations, cancelizations. I, I tour mostly comic conventions, schools, and libraries is how I make my living as a cartoonist um syndication does not pay much at all for some people it does but not for me so i rely entirely on performing to make my money so people buying drawings and making requests and supporting me with donations have really been frankly how i'm surviving okay octopus playing a banjo oh my goodness how am i going to do that? <laughs> All right. There's a lot I have to figure out in the composition of this. And part of the issue with the way I draw is the composition of it is live and permanent. Um, which means if I screw up, I screw up big. Because uh, I can't go back and erase... And um, so I've got to make sure I get it right the first time. Something like this, sorry. Whenever I'm drawing something that takes a little bit of thought, I'll, you'll hear me get kind of quiet on it. Um, you and I are in a mighty brand new club for now, I hope. Hmm, which club? The club of people who draw octopi playing <laughs> banjos? Or uh, the online cartooning club? Or, boy, there's so many things now that we are doing to try and evolve and stay alive. There is a octopus playing banjo by request uh, from my good friend there. Uh, all right, um, a monkey blowing a bubble or a bunny in a pool. Kim, oh my goodness, 
Uh, oh, that's Kim's daughter probably making all these wonderful requests. I'm going to pick one of them. I'm going to pick a... Uh, oh, the, Rob Smith says the club of not having gigs. Yep. Yeah, I don't like that club very much, but I'm making the best of it. I'm here with all of you tonight. Uh, Rob, thank you. I'm glad you liked my octopus playing a banjo. It was a first and it was very, very tough because I don't know how to play the banjo. So I'm not quite sure how you draw someone playing a banjo. The only thing, uh, so there are some things I do have trouble drawing. So please don't request them. But first among them is I'm, I do struggle a little bit with certain musical instruments. Um, take a lot of thought for me. Mostly like things like a tuba or brass instruments I have trouble with. Uh, and then the other thing I have a lot of trouble is I, I and it was funny because this is a discussion other cartoonists have had. I don't like drawing bicycles. I got nothing against bicycles in general. I just don't like drawing them. Okay, Aaron asked for a unicorn, so I haven't gotten to that one yet, so unicorn. There we go. Unicorns are one of the most popular requests I get at conventions when I do my live drawings. And even a very popular request online, too. Okay. Uh, a pug. Yeah, I can draw a pug. All right. So there is uh, the unicorn. Uh, quick commercial. Drawings can be purchased for $15. If you would like a drawing, um, just uh, let me know. You can um, buy those online and I will mail them on out for $15. So just let me know if that's what, something you want, okay? All right, here we go. I wanted to make sure I could remember a pug. All right. So there's a unicorn. Next is a pug. Uh, you're welcome on the hippo and unicorn. Of course, happy to draw them. funny little pug okay uh, what else do we got here let's see all right sorry I've grabbed more paper um, oh goodness a, a bunny stuck in a claw machine oh my goodness that's a lot of drawing uh, yeah, okay
lots of other toys in there too. That's what makes it tough. So I have to draw all these other sort of just in the background. And maybe there's another teddy bear here. Okay, there we go. A bunny rabbit caught in a claw machine. Oh, you know what? I just realized I had the microphone way, way off. So I don't know if everybody has been hearing me or not this whole time. I hope so. Okay. Let's see what we have next. You want that one. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to set that one aside over in the sold pile right over there, okay? Uh, Kristen, what kind of pen am I using? I'll mention it again. There we go, as I always do. I am using the Zebra PM701. That is the type of pen I use. Okay. Um, just for the fun of it, a duck. go a surfing kangaroo oh i like it okay let me finish up my duck there's my duck okay surfing kangaroo is next uh, Kim asked where you can get the pen. Um, a Zebra's website, Amazon, um, I think like Staples, Office Depot, a lot of places carry them. I should just carry them on my website, just as so many people ask me about them. Surfing kangaroo. I hear the surfing is great in Australia. I've never been to Australia. I, I really, really want to go someday. Um, Sydney, Australia, the Sydney Telegraph is actually the largest newspaper to carry uh, my feature, Maze Tunes, um, which is my website. Maze Tunes is the feature that I draw. Um, one of the biggest ways you can help me, um, if you can't purchase drawings, I understand everybody's sort of struggling right now, uh, or if you can't donate, one of the biggest ways you can help me is by asking your newspaper to carry Maze Tunes. It's the biggest single way you can help me is get newspapers to carry my feature. Uh, people love mazes right now. So uh, Max would like to know if I can draw a zombie. Max, uh, I'm from Pittsburgh, which means, yeah, I can draw a zombie. Are you kidding me? That's that's what we're, uh, you know, everybody in Pittsburgh knows how to draw a zombie. So a zombie... Uh, I just drew a duck. Oh, you missed out. I'll, I'll show you the duck I drew in a second. Yeah, I draw a lot of ducks. I have a love-hate relationships with ducks. Right now I'm drawing a zombie for Max, right? This is for Max.
Okay, there is a zombie for Max. Ugh. I can't watch horror movies. They scare me a lot. Okay. Oh, just a quick reminder. I'm going to post it up. If anybody would like to purchase any of the drawings, just let me know. Just send me a message is fine with which one you want and your address so I can ship those out, okay? Um, you can also support me by donating at paypal.me.com. Okay, uh, what do I have here? Uh, oh, I wanted to show the duck that I did a second ago. There's my duck. Wow, 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 wow. All right. Okay, uh, next is a bear on a skateboard. Okay. Bear on a skateboard. A lot of kids and adults, too, have been tuning into my daily uh, workshops on howtotune.com. I do not have a workshop tomorrow. No workshop tomorrow. Instead, at 1 o'clock, I'm doing a story time, How to Tune, where I will draw a story live as I tell it. Um, only runs about 10 minutes, so it's going to be a shorter, much shorter show because we've been running, the workshops uh, have been running about an hour. Um, and then I have some private one-on-one -on -one workshops I'm doing. Um, private workshops are uh, $50 for uh, an hour-and-a-half workshop. Um, if you're interested, again, just message me for those. And your whole family can join in. They're remote, so I do them online. There we go. And I want to thank everybody who's been supporting me. I've had people donating. I've had people purchasing drawings. And I just can't thank you enough because it has truly um, kept me going. It would, would otherwise be... A really rough struggle right now as I know it is for many people out there um, but as I've said I've lost all my gigs for the next at least three months although now I'm starting to have ones cancel in June or July so um, my summer may be over we'll see all right um, a pair of ghosts playing chess okay here it goes playing chess, and I have a, a narwhal with hot cocoa. All right, let's start with a pair of ghosts playing chess. I need to really think about this one. You can tell again, you can always tell what I'm thinking when I suddenly get real quiet. It means I have to think about the composition of the drawing, where everything's going to fall. Um, no, it's a good challenge. I like a, you know, a good challenge now and then, but there we go. All right. There we go. There are two ghosts playing chess. Hmm, that was a tough one. Good. Okay. Uh, oh, let me get a little organized here because we got a bunch of drawings now. These drawings start to build up fast. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of drawings. Okay. Set those aside. All right. Let's see what we have next. 
again, reminder, if anybody's interested in purchasing any drawings, just let me know. All right, next. Oh, I'd love to see how many people are tuning in. I actually can't see on uh, the software I'm using. Um, that still doesn't tell me. Okay. Oh, uh, a narwhal with hot cocoa was one of the ones that I had in there, right? Okay. Narwhal with hot cocoa. Let's see. Oh, thank you, uh, Crystal. 18 viewers currently. Okay, thank you. Okay, there is a narwhal drinking hot cocoa. There we go. Hi, Tammy. Oh, it's so nice to see you. So very, very nice to see you. I love seeing all the artists. Um, short Kim, just let me know. Or, um, or Kim's daughter, whoever that is. <laughs> okay. Uh, no request coming in, so let's draw a, uh, what haven't I drawn yet? A platypus. A platypus. Yes, my ghost playing a uh, uh, chess that somebody requested that I then had to draw. So every now and then I get these challenging ones. There is a platypus. Platypus, there we go. Okay. All right. Uh, for adults tuning in, you can donate at PayPal. Um, you can also buy drawings. I can put that card up here too. Uh, la 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 la. Where is that? <laughs> Drawings can be purchased fifteen dollars. There we go. Okay, and my information: PayPal, Cash Up. A cow in a field with an alien chip overhead. Why not? Uh, I'm I'm here for the night, so sure, can do that. Cow in a field. So we'll start with the cow. It is a disconcerted cow. So again, whenever I get quiet, it just means I'm thinking. I usually don't have to think when I draw, but sometimes I do. If there's a complicated composition to the drawing, um, I need to make th sure things are going to all fall in the right place. as I do with this one. Mm. 
Okay. A cow uh, in a field with an alien ship overhead, uh, as Tracy requested. Oh, my goodness. All right. There's that one. Well, let's see here. Mm -hmm. What else do I want to do? Uh, let's see. Uh, we've had a lot of, uh, I've drawn a lot of those ones. Oh, let's see, a horse hang gliding. Oh, my goodness. You guys are getting really complicated here. All right. Not 100% sure I know how to do this one. Really no idea what I'm doing here, but I never do, so it's okay. I honestly rarely know what I'm drawing. I'm just making these up as I go along. That's a good request that really got me thinking on this one. That was a... Okay, that, wow, that was a, no kidding, that was a tough one. Uh, a hang gliding horse. Wow, okay, hang gliding horse. Um... Go ahead, quick commercial. You can purchase drawings um, while I get set up for the next one. You're welcome if anybody is interested in drawing. So drawings are $10 and can be purchased for $15. However, if you buy one or more, they are only $10. Ta-da! I was able to update that. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited by this technology because from from the first day of just me trying to figure out how I was going to do this to now having gone through five different types of software and finally settling on one that I like, um, it's been quite a process. Okay, let's see. Well, maybe I'll draw one that I want to draw for a change. What do I want to draw? Um... I want to draw a lizard skiing. So that's what I'm going to do, a lizard skiing. And uh, again, I'm happy to answer questions. If anybody has any questions, technical, career-wise, anything like that, feel free to ask questions, absolutely. There we go, a skiing uh, lizard. Do I write books? Yes, I've written a book on the top 100 animated TV characters. It's called An Animation Celebration. I also draw uh, maze books. I've done uh, five books of mazes. Uh, my books, you can get them anywhere, Amazon, um, Target, Walgreens, Barnes & Nobles. But I do um, have signed copies of my books at 
uh, Mystery Lovers Bookshop here in Oakmont. That's my local bookstore. And I go down there, oh, once a week, and I sign a bunch of stuff. How do I have the camera set up? It's actually a document camera, so it's designed especially for doing um, these sorts of things. So it's actually, you can see the camera right here. That's the base. Um, uh, IPVO is the company that makes it. So uh, good company, uh, or good, pretty good product. Okay, and I have a, a boom mic here. I'll actually uh, show you. I can actually show everyone how my setup is. So um, we can see here, let's see. Uh, 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 turn that, ah, there we go, okay. So here is the camera. Um, you can see that set up here. And then I have a boom mic right here. This is what I use. I do voiceovers for commercials. Um, so uh, this is what I use when I record at home, this mic right here. So it worked out quite well for uh, adapting to this. Okay, let me draw something while I answer the rest of the questions. I'm going to draw a pelican. Uh, my school visits, I do a couple different kinds of school visits. I do an assembly program where I draw stories as I tell them. Uh, assembly programs last about 40 minutes uh, with questions and answers and so forth. I do, and that's for up to 500 kids. It doesn't matter how many kids. Uh, I also do hands-on workshops where they draw along with me. Those run 40 minutes to an hour. And then... I also do maze mural residencies where I actually will um, create a mural, a maze mural that I leave behind and then can be solved um, at the school. Um, the maze murals are usually about four feet high by six feet long on average. And I've done a couple of those at schools in New York and a, a library in New Mexico. So done a lot of those okay there is a pelican all right set that one aside again if anybody's interested in any drawings let me know uh, I'm also doing like drawing grab bags now hey I should put that up there no, that's too much to type. Uh, the drawing grab bags are three random drawings. It's $10, and I ship it out. That's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, six drawings is $20, but they're random. You can't pick which ones you get. So it's it's a surprise to everyone. Okay. Um, how about, let's see. Wait, I'll draw. Well, maybe I'll just start drawing and then see what I come up with as I'm going. Uh, okay, a rhinoceros. Okay, a uh, rhino. Okay, yes, uh, Tracy, that's fine. Um, you can pay me, out, pay me uh, but make sure you message me um, so that I know which ones you want um, and also your address so I can mail them out. And if you're buying two, that's uh, it's $10 a piece. So it's $20. If you're buying one, it's 15 okay? All right. Uh, yeah, Westmoreland County uh, is close. Yeah, please do mention me to your schools. Um, most important, um, ask your local newspapers to carry May's tunes, too. Um, I also have a free coloring book up on my May's tunes page right now. So you can actually uh, uh, visit my website, maystunes.com, and download a free coloring book. I've also got a bunch of mazes on there, too. Okay, uh, a giraffe. For some reason giraffes have been really popular. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm working on a draft now. It's great to have uh, lots of adults and kids in here, too. Uh, I am debating doing a grown-up only uh, <laughs> one at like 2 in the morning some night. But we'll see. I have too many kids fans who, who want to tune in, so I'm worried that they'll decide to tune in at 2 in the morning. There is a giraffe. Uh, am I doing a live stream tomorrow? Asked by uh, Aaron. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing a 1 o'clock story time over on YouTube, uh, just howtotune.com. Um, and then I have some private one-on-one -on -one drawing sessions I'm doing. And then I'll be back at uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, I will probably do uh, another live session. So, yeah, I will have a live session. Sunday I'm probably going to take off just because I have to catch up on all my syndication work. And then next week I'm, I'm trying to wrap up a uh, book that I'm working on. And, um, you know, I figure I might as well take advantage of uh, all this time off from everything. So, uh, all right, I am going to do uh, one more. We're coming up on 45 minutes here that I've been drawing. So um, last one. Uh, last reminder of everything, too, uh, and that is uh, you can purchase drawings. That's reminder number one. There we go. Uh, reminder number two, workshops are live Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern, story time Saturday at 1 p.m., and daily quick draw live on Facebook at 7 p.m. for the foreseeable future or until I run out of paper. Okay, and my books are available at mysterylovers.com. And, oh, the last thing I want to tell everyone before I do my final drawing is this. Follow me. Follow me on everything, please. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Go Comics. Definitely on Go Comics. Um, it's it's a free service. We have tons of great cartoons, but make sure you subscribe to Maze Tunes, Okay. And then my website, subscribe to my website too, and subscribe to How To Two on YouTube. Okay, last one, a clown blowing up a balloon. We'll make a clown making a balloon animal for Max, okay? Last drawing of the night. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Um, if anybody is interested in purchasing any drawings, please let me know. I will be happy to um, sell you those drawings. If anybody wants a drawing grab, ba grab bag, they are just $10. I only have a few of them. Um, and you get random drawings. I see I've got a few messages. I will check all those messages after I am uh, done for the night with these drawings. Thanks for subscribing, Bob. Um, yeah, anybody wants to purchase a grab bag, just send me information. You just do it via PayPal and, and send me your address. That one shoe is much shorter than the other. There we go. Okay, there is a clown making a balloon animal. And that is my last drawing for tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, just message me on Facebook, Instagram, my email, whatever you want is fine. Uh, thank you. <laughs> 
that is so corny that I can do that. All right, that was silly. All right, thanks, everybody. Uh, I am out of here. So long. <laughs>